Welcome to Leadmaster. In this video, I'm going to show you how to capture data from the Contact Form 7 on your WordPress website into the Leadmaster CRM. Let's take a look at a Contact 7 form. I'll go ahead and fill this out. and click Submit. Once we see the thank you message, we know it's been sent to the CRM. Let's take a look. So here is the new record in the CRM. We've got the name of the company, we've got the contacts first and last name, we've got the email, and we have any comments that were on, on the form. Once this comes into the CRM, you can have an autoresponder go out to John, thanking them for their inquiry, letting them know someone will be in touch with them shortly, etc. So, in order to make this happen, we need a plug-in. Go to the Leadmaster website, go to Support, and Leadmaster Help Videos. You can either search around, or you can press Control F and type in contact form and you'll see here a plugin download this plugin and install it as you normally would in your WordPress site once installed this is what you should see API for contact form 7 by leadmaster make sure that it's activated the next step is to create your form this is the form that I'm using as an example in this video. If the plugin is installed correctly, you're going to see a new tab called API Integration. I'll explain more about that in a minute. First, let's modify our form here by adding another field. And this is going to be phone number, your phone. And we'll save that. Next, I want to go back to the Leadmaster website and get instructions. Go to the About Us, go to Leadmaster Partners, and choose Leads and Lead Providers. Scroll down until you see Integration Instructions. There are several pages of information here. You'll want to familiarize yourself with the entire document, but for right now, I'm going to concentrate on the authentication. In order to be able to pass data into the CRM, you have to be authenticated. You have to have a company ID, a username, and password. You'll get these from your Leadmaster representative. Once you have those, you're ready to begin mapping the data from the form to the CRM. Let's go back to WordPress. So here I am in WordPress. I'm going to click on API integration. Now you'll notice that this URL matches what we saw in the instructions. Let me flip back there for a moment. It matches this URL right here. What we're going to do is we're going to build the URL. It's going to include what's called the endpoint and the company ID and the username and the password. These can be in any order. Let's go back to WordPress. So here's the first part. I then enter a question mark, and then I begin entering the fields. LP underscore username equals, and then you'll enter the data that you get from your Leadmaster representative. In this case, the username is test123$. Enter an ampersand between the fields, and the next field is LP underscore password with an equal sign. And this is the password that you'll get from your Leadmaster representative. Enter an ampersand between the fields and your company ID. Once you've done that, it's time to map the fields. Make sure that the API is enabled and that you are doing a post. So here are the fields on my form. First name, last name, phone, email, company, and message. I need to put the names from the documentation 
in to here. Let's go back and take a look. You'll notice that I'm missing the phone. We'll add that. So here's my documentation. And here are the fields. You'll notice I've got contact first name, contact last name, LP underscore contact first name, LP underscore contact last name, LP underscore company, LP underscore email. I want LP underscore phone. And you can just copy and paste these. These are all the fields available. If you don't see a field that you need, you can post to what's called special interest fields. These are customizable fields. These are single select, multi select, and text fields. And if you don't see the field that you need after going through all of these, you can also have custom fields entered. You'll need to contact your lead master representative for that because we need to do mapping on the back end. Let's go back to WordPress. So here I'm going to paste in LP underscore phone. And let's save this and enter another lead. Here's the original form. When I do a refresh in the browser, we should see the new field that I entered for the phone. And there's our phone. Let me enter some data again. Okay, now that I have all the data entered, I'm going to click Submit. Once we've seen the thank you message, we know that the data is in the CRM. Let's go take a look. So here's our new record. We've got the name of the company, the first and last name, the email, and now we also have the phone as well as the data entered in the comment section. This concludes the video on capturing data from a contact form 7 and sending it to the Leadmaster CRM system.